friends, so here's a bonus part two for this Sunday's live stream. I just wanted to show you um, from earlier, we packed the sauerkraut and now I want you to see the brine is all the way up there on the top. So if I move this, you can see, see the brine right there. So we just let it sit for, in how long? I guess it's been about two hours since we, and we cut up all of these cucumbers behind us while we were waiting. And this is what the cabbage should look like when you pack it. See, it's kind of, it's much softer and it's pliable and there's water in there. So that will make it so, so much easier for you to be able to, um, to pack it into your jar. So earlier, since I was trying to do it all live, you know, I was working with cabbage that was so fresh. We just cut it out of the garden yesterday. And so there you go. I just wanted you to see. Now I've packed it down really nice and flat. The brine is completely covering it. And so now this is going to ferment absolutely beautifully. Hi Pam, hi Cynthia. So I'm only hopping on for just a second just to show you guys the conclusion of what we started earlier. Um, and if you haven't checked out the pickle video from last week, we are getting ready to do monster amounts of pickles. We've got horseradish leaves and grape leaves. And here's all of our cucumbers. Um, it's super fun. So anyway, hi everyone. Um, that's all. I don't have anything else going on. I just really wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like when it's all full. And you can see when I push on this that the brine is right there. So this is going to ferment beautifully. And I'll show you guys next week what it looks like for our next live stream. Okay? I will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Mom, you're done?